I didn't think you'd ever get to this point, but here we are. Ronnie2k hops on live streams and actively lies about me. And the lies have been progressively getting worse to the point where he just feels really comfortable talking about private details in my life publicly. <laughs> And he's testing me, yo, because I genuinely feel like he's been baiting me to make this video. Because he knows all the things he's saying in his streams that aren't true. I can just expose, and I would benefit from that. The only problem is I think that there's going to be some innocent people that are caught in the crossfire, and I didn't want to be the one to fire that bullet. But I genuinely think he wanted me to, because otherwise, why would he keep doing it? I get Ronnie, if you're on your live stream playing 2K and all of my fans are in there saying, where's Agent's logo? You might be tempted to talk about me. You, you might even be tempted to make a couple fat jokes. Go ahead, Ronnie, but stop lying. Tell the truth or just keep it shut, my guy. Keep it, come on, you know how to stream? If you see something you don't like in the chat, don't address it. That's how it works. I'm a little frustrated because every time he streams, I get dozens of messages on my phone from people asking me whether or not what he said was true. Ronnie, pay very close attention to what's happening. It took you two months to ruin your credibility and be known as a certified pathological liar in the NBA 2K community. You've had NBA players tweet out the hashtag FireRonnie2K. You think that happens to a person who's incompetent at his job? I meant competent at his job. Cause there's plenty of people to love in NBA 2K. Mike Wang saved the franchise back in 2K11. This has been booming ever since. LD2K loves the community so much that he's basically working two jobs. One as a community manager, which he doesn't get paid to do, and the other as a host of 2K TV. That's not his job, but he loves it, so that's what he does. Ronnie, the impression people get from you is that you feel like you're above us. We're all human, but you feel like you gen, like, oh, those measly guys in the 2K community. And you always look elsewhere. When Keemstar puts out a tweet, you're first person to respond, let's work. You don't wanna work with us? We're not good enough for you. So if you can't see that's what's been happening for the past few months, I don't know what's gonna save you. All right, let's get to the lies, because I'm frustrated, because I don't wanna have to look at my phone and deal with that, especially when it comes to private matters about my life. I keep it private for a reason. None of you have any business about it but here we go we got to make it all public at this point everything started when i wasn't invited to community day do we remember that a, a week went by two weeks went by i ain't received a single thing in my email everybody else did and so i put out a tweet saying wasn't invited to community day ronnie 2k responded to that saying false news i responded nobody communicated that with me so he just acted he just called me a liar publicly the frustrating part was is people began to question my integrity when he said that and that pissed me off because it's like what did i do i didn't do anything wrong he just lied and now some people are gonna walk around believing that lie didn't get the invite didn't go to the event the game came out i was wondering if ronnie was gonna give me a logo i didn't think he would but I was like, he kind of has to, right? It'd be weird if he gave it to everybody but me. It kind of looked like he had a vendetta. You know what I mean? He had something against me. Game came out, I ain't get a logo. So of course, I got to doing what I do best. Laughing about the situation. That's what we did. We just made a whole lot of jokes, making funny videos, and you guys enjoyed them. I loved making them. So the people that watched those videos went into Ronnie's streams like, yo, where's Agent's logo? Where's Agent's logo? I get that you may be tempted to say something because it's like it's happening all stream. You kind of have to address it. But if you're going to address it, don't lie about it or just ignore it. Like you have two options here. And so this was Wani 2 ks response when he was asked for the 500th time in his stream why I don't have a logo. I've already talked about Agent's logo. He's scanned from last year, but he didn't want to. He's got to release his likeness to us and he didn't sign the contract. So um, without a scan, I can't uh, put his logo on there. All right, here we go. I just want to remind you that you were the first person to bring up the contract. I tried to avoid bringing it up, but here we go. <laughs> it's so wildly misleading the way he just phrased that. Oh my God, Ronnie is good. I swear to you, he's good. He might not be a good representative of anybody, but he's a good businessman and he could sell you on anything. He could convince you that dump on the floor deserves to be a decoration on your wall. I swear to you. If we're being honest, Ronnie, the likeness, that part you were referring to, was a footnote in that massive contract you sent that had a whole lot of terms, none of which I was comfortable with. I told him, and I'll tell you guys, everybody knows, all I care about is creating content. Anything I feel like gets in the way of that, I'm not interested in being a part of, ever. If you told me that if I sign, I get a chance to do a video with this person, this person, go to this place, get this access, I mean, unless there's horrible terms that come with it, sign me up. But in this situation, I don't wanna go into the details of the contract because that would take forever. If I had to rate the contract at a 10, it would be a two out of 10. And the only reason it's not a one is because people were promised logos and verification here. But the thing is, there's plenty of people 
people who have verifications and that have face scans that didn't sign. They didn't even sign. So why do I have to? Why do I have to, but they ain't have to? That's the part that I just didn't understand. I truly don't understand. The thing is, is I'm not even angry I don't have a logo. At this point, it's just kind of funny, isn't it? I don't need it. I still get games regardless, but it would be nice to have. That's kind of where I'm at right now. But this has nothing to do with logos, verifications, face scans. It has to do with the fact that you're actively misleading thousands of people. And it's not a good look. He did it again, and this time he was talking about matters in my private life. This is what he said. That's being America if it wasn't for me. I helped him with a visa, and now, like, you guys don't know the full story. Like, I helped him with a visa so he could come to America. I wrote him a letter. And then he has the audacity to continue to act poorly towards me. So, yeah, I, I don't, I don't really like that very much. If I do you a favor of such an attitude, that's a problem. So, and he can, do, he can say whatever he wants. He knows the truth. That's my issue with Agent. If I do you a favor of such magnitude. All right, here we go. Now we got to talk about my visa. Jesus, who thought I'd get to this point? So I apply for an O-1 visa. It's people of extraordinary ability. Usually athletes, artists, entertainers will go for this visa. Allows a lot of flexibility, yada, 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 but it's hard to get. You need a lot of help. A lot of them signed it. Ronnie was one of the people who signed it. So he did help. He's not lying about that. But I found it crazy that this wasn't the only time he used the, I signed the visa for him, so I can't believe I didn't get this kind of treatment. What am I supposed to do? You want me to sign any contract you send me even if it makes no sense for my channel? Think about it, you know what terms were in that contract. It would absolutely compromise anything and everything I do on this channel. So no, I didn't feel comfortable signing it. I told you I didn't feel comfortable signing it. Why are we pushing it to this point? This is not the only time he used the visa thing as a way to get me to do something, as leverage. I'm telling you YouTubers right now, I swear to you, be careful. There's some people that will do things for you out of the goodness of your heart. There's other people that will only do it if it benefits them. Do not mess with those people. It's dangerous. You'll sign something you very, very much regret. But here's the part Ronnie doesn't know. I didn't use the documents he sent me in my visa because they expired. And when I asked my immigration lawyer whether or not I should contact him to see if he'll sign it again, she said, no, we're good. We have enough. I trust her, she's good at her job. We submitted the visa, hallelujah, I was accepted. Yo, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've never smiled and screamed of happiness and joy so much until that day I knew I was approved. That was literally one of the greatest days of my life, I'm not lying. So I'm, I'm eternally grateful for anybody who helped with that process. Ronnie, you did sign those documents, but you didn't play a role in me getting here. So I don't want you walking around thinking you could just say, agent came to America because of me. That's not cool. All right, so let me just give you some context here. One of the other people I reached out to was Shane from the Raptors Uprising. He signed a deal memo and a letter of recommendation knowing that if I got accepted, that everything would change. I would no longer be in Toronto. We can't do business the way we used to. And he still signed it. So you see what I'm saying? There's some people that are genuine and are always looking out for you. And there's others that just do things to find a new way to use you. I'll say this though. There was a couple videos in the last four months on this channel well, Ronnie2k messaged me and was basically tried to check me and say, I didn't like that video. Why would you post that video? Sometimes he'd even say things like the devs hated that video. Even though I knew he wasn't talking about the developers, he was talking about 2K Sports, the publisher. Why do I have to deal with this? I didn't get into YouTube to be in politics or to be in drama. That's Agent Beanstar's job. My job is to play the game and make funny videos. That's it. That's the only thing I want to do. So when you lie about me, you drag me into the you. Man, I'm going hard. I'm sweating this video. <laughs> I have a towel here so you guys can't really tell. So the purpose of this video is not me to rant or be angry. I just want to set the record straight. Ronnie, we could have had a very cordial relationship, right? There's plenty of people that have helped me and then I didn't want to re-sign with them for whatever reason and we moved on. And I respect them. They respect me. We still have a business relationship. Keep it at that. That's all this had to be. But instead, you helped this grudge. I don't get a logo, I don't get invited to the events, I bet. But then when you have to explain why those things are happening, you can't just lie about it. And I know for a fact that a lot of people would have said something too, but there's a lot of people that can't. Legally, they cannot say it. <laughs> it's like... 
This should be a reality check for you, Ronnie. I know you think that you're untouchable because you have all the celebrity contacts and 2K Sports needs you. And I'm not saying fire Ronnie, cancel Ronnie, whatever. But the fact that there is so many, an overwhelming amount of people that are unhappy with you should say something. If I saw that in the comment section, I'd know the video I posted was ass and I should never do it again. I'd switch up. I don't even know what the purpose of this video is because you know he's not gonna do anything different. He's just gonna hop on another stream and make a new lie. But it's so odd because I wasn't the only person who didn't sign. So why am I the only person getting treated like this? It makes no sense. The reason I didn't want to make this video is because a lot of you guys are going to think, who, who signed? I mean, who did sign that contract Ronnie was talking about? And then you're going to think of them like they did something bad. In reality, they just got bamboozled. It wasn't their fault. Yo, I'm telling you right now, no matter how, how much integrity you think you have, when a person walks up to you and tells you, you could be face scanned and verified in the game you grew up playing, your dream, then it doesn't matter what is on the other side of that contract, you're gonna sign it. And a lot of people did. They're not bad people. So that's the reason I didn't wanna make a video like this because I don't want them to get any negative attention because if the truth comes out, for whatever reason, the contract gets leaked, I'm, I'm, it's not gonna impact me negatively. Won't affect me at all, I didn't sign it. So I mean, it's whatever, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted everyone to know what the truth was and hopefully I'll never have to respond to Ronnie again. Stick to the fat jokes, Ronnie. Stick to the fat jokes. It's crazy, because when I make jokes about Ronnie, it's always about something he's done. When Ronnie makes jokes about me, it's about my physical appearance. I, I might just hop on a video and start making fun of his physical appearance, see how he likes it. But we're probably both used to it, we're online, right? I mean, he catches a lot of hate, for sure. And I, I mean, half of you guys are trolls, so I deal with it on a regular basis, too. You've told me plenty of things that you would hate if it went public. And I'm not saying those in this video here. There's some videos on the screen. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate LD2K and Baluba and all those guys who truly care. Cause it's, it's just in contrast. It's such a big difference. Jesus. Peace out, y'all.